pink salmon. Climate change. Weather is the current temperature on any given day. While the climate change while climate change is the average temperature over time. Climate change is a change in global climate because of burning fossil fuels. This is also referred as global warming. The main cause of climate change today. The main cause of climate change is greenhouse gases, which are gases trapped in the atmosphere. The layer of gases keep heat trapped close to the earth. Impacts of climate change. As the climate is getting warmer, weather patterns are changing. People are experiencing more extreme droughts, floods, and storms. Sea level is rising as snow and ice are melting rapidly in the Arctic. These changes impact animals, habit, habitats, and interrupt the food web. Beat the pink salmon. Pink salmon are the smallest Pacific salmon weighing on average between 3.5 to 5 pounds. Their average length is 20 to 25 inches. They eat fish, squid, eels, and the occasional plankton. Where they live. Pink salmon are found in the Pacific Rim of Asia and North America. Also, they also live in, North, in the North Pacific Ocean Arctic Ocean and nearby seas. How they live. Pink salmon all migrate at the same time, but they are not in a pack. When they migrate, they go to salt water. Ryan Kovach, a population ecologist at the University of Alaska in Fairbanks and his mm -hmm. colleagues have now investigated the genetic basis of shifts towards earlier migration times in spawning of pink salmon in Elk Creek, a stream near Junea, Alaska. The team found that in 2010, the fish swam upstream to spawn nearly two weeks earlier than they did 40 years ago, a trend also seen in another salmon population and others. Study revealed, studies revealed that the salmon are spawning earlier because of the warmer temperatures in the water. The scientists have found the num that the number of late migrating fish had dropped at least 20% to make up just 10% of the population. We show that there has been a genetic shift towards earlier migration timing through what appears to be natural selection against the late migrating individuals in the population, Kovac says. The organization is trying to help pink salmon. There are many different organizations helping this animal, like the Marine Stewardship Council, Watershed Watch, Skeena Wild, Marine Coast Con Conservation Fund Foundation, and the David Suzuki Foundation. What the people recommend to do to help the cause. In some areas, they believe it is time to establish truly protected salmon runs, runs that would be managed solely for their importance to wildlife and ecosystems. This would allow salmon to return to spawning grounds without encountering the nest and hooks of the Pacific salmon fleet. Hmm. What the organizations do. Watershed Watch, Skeena Wild, Rain Coast Conservation Fund, and the David Suzuki Foundation support the conditional sooner occasion, but they say their support depend on the improvements or conditions being implemented within the time frame required by the certification. Thanks for watching, watching and listening.